ICPAY stands for In-Service ICT Training for Environmental Professionals, and the project is based at Central European University in Budapest, Hungary. The primary goal of the ICPAY project is to bridge the gap between environmental professionals and ICT communities. So ICTs, or Information and Communication Technologies, are constantly changing and evolving, and more and more data is becoming available on a daily basis, making it very challenging for environmental decision makers to stay updated on all of these changes. So the ICPAY project aims to address this challenge by conducting a series of workshops here at CEU in Budapest um, for environmental decision makers focused on the potential use and application of ICTs in various environmental themes. The ICTs we're focused on are uh, geographic information systems, GIS, remote sensing, citizen science, big data, distance learning and various others and the primary goal is to show environmental decision makers that these technologies are easy to use, accessible and greatly improve data-driven decision making. On behalf of the United Nations Environment Program, we're very happy to have this partnership with the Central European University uh, which looks at building capacity of professionals on environmental issues. Uh, with Environmental Education UNEP, the United Nations Environment Program, has been over the past 40 years looking at building capacity throughout the world. And this most recent activity with CEU, the Central European University, uh, looks specifically at ICT, the Information Communication Technologies and their power in building capacity of environment professionals. I wanted to talk a bit about the importance of uh, ICTs, of uh, information and communication technologies um, and um, uh, their role in decision making. Uh, I think it's very important uh, to mention that uh, in the past 15-20 uh, years as I have been working um, for the United Nations we've seen the importance of these technologies grow uh, more and more. We of course um, uh, try to uh, reach out to as many as possible countries and uh, decision makers in uh, raising their awareness of these technologies but uh, universities are very important in helping us do that uh, because they have the research facilities, they have the infrastructure, they have the teaching capacity uh, and they have the, um, the, the network to bring together experts, uh, students, practitioners and uh, promote these, uh, these technologies uh, to a wider audience. And this is where we um, would like to work closer together with the Central European University and um, also um, partner in the future in such summer university and other events uh, as possible. It's been a second time that we joined the activity uh, within this project and it's our pleasure to join this year again the summer school of the Central European University. Uh, I represent here the Black Sea Commission's Permanent Secretariat and I would like to say that this activity is also part of our ICT activities and uh, it was a pleasure to join the, this uh, summer school and we presented also what we are doing in the Black Sea region and also had a chance to get uh, some you know, hands-on experience of other um, participants on what they do in their regions and it's, it's been a good exchange of experience and, and the capacity building as well. This course is uh, very innovative in its nature and it brings together a number of uh, traditional but also non-traditional players who are working in the area or might be interested in the area of our work. We are getting practitioners and experts on big data, on innovation, on disaster risk reduction, on environment and climate change from Arab states, from Africa and a number of other uh, regions and countries in the world. We hope that this is the first of series of the summer courses that UNDP will be organizing jointly with Central Euro European University. We appreciate the partnership with the CEU and look forward to working with them in the future. Our organization, EcoCity Builders, is based in the San Francisco Bay Area and we're an educational nonprofit that works with cities and specifically neighborhoods and citizens to improve the quality of the environment and quality of life in, from the ground up. 
And uh, the main mode or the method that we use is working in partnership with universities, academia, school systems, because what we found over the years that's actually much more sustainable than working directly with local government as those seem to cycle and shift in and out of powers.